Pula Vinaka. Welcome to our Papua New Guinean and Fijian watchers, listeners, wherever you may be around the world. Um, at the start there, it was great to see the Fiji, Fiji Bati, that's what it's called. Um, there's a nice little change up because faith is so important to our people and it's it's the Fijian lads just saying how grateful they are to God for what they have and, 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 and what they've been given. Um, but nonetheless, don't get it twisted. It's going to be fiery out there tonight. It certainly will be. It will be Papua New Guinea to kick off. David Mead playing his final test match for the Kummels. So it's Kumi, Kumuls Yumigo, if you're watching in Papua New Guinea tonight, and Nisa Bulabanaka in Fiji. We are underway in Tui Kamakamitha with the first run of the night for Fiji. Don't leave your lounge, your chair, wherever you're watching tonight's game because this will be 80 minutes of action-packed test match rugby league. Joe Redabaka Thedabalu with a run. And he's tackled by Epel Kapinius. Nangama turns one on the inside. It's a good opening set here from Fiji. Omar Manuel Lilabave is starting the game tonight in jersey number 16. Here's Sunia Turuva. Playing the ball, Nangama puts it high. Here's a test. Oh, terrific take, Solo Wane. Under pressure. Justin Olam. That was a great take, Solo Wane. Jacob Alec. Three of them in there, put him on his back, including Viliami kick out on the halfway line. Here's Sylvester Namo. Asimo and kick out in the tackle. The kick from Kyle Labert. It's a high one. It's a test here for Turuba. Takes it well. David Mead and Dan Russell drive him to the ground. Let's take your sideline, Sam Thido. Great couple of uh, sets there to start this game off. It's going to be an absolute uh, fantastic game. If you look at the Kummels jerseys, they're wearing black armbands tonight, and that's to pay respect to one of their past Kummels players in uh, Philip Bogu. So a uh, really, really nice touch there, and uh, really looking forward to this game and what it can produce. Thank you, Sammy. Played against Australia in 1991. Did Philip Bogay. The kick from Asima. Taken here by Alex Johnston. And a good chase too. Very good chase. Tangi Tuimua, the Fijian number nine. He's had some good tackles so far. He led the chase before. Tabo Pereira playing the ball. Here's Sylvester Namo. 10 short of halfway. Both teams settling into their work. Oh, no. As soon as this tackle is complete, play will be stopped. Try getting to his feet, but this does not look good at all. And it is Lamar Manuel Ilavave. Concern yep. for him. Now just gets his head down low and in a bad position. Catches maybe the elbow or the hip. And he's pretty much knocked out before he hits the ground. And his head slams the ground hard. It could well be the end of his night, or it will be the end of his night. Again, we talk about a lot about tackling techniques. And and try to encourage them to stand to make their tackles. 
Well, we, we spoke about this in the last game, previous game, Gus. Um, a young man got got up and he's clearly disorientated by playing the ball, but then he ended up back on the field. The same, we, we were speaking about like, surely there's a rule if a player is disorientated, like uh, our man is right here. Surely that should be the night over for him. Well, that's what I understand. You know, to be the protocols, they grade them pretty quickly from the sideline and the bunker as to to what grade the concussion they think it is. And if it's a grade one, well, his night's finished. Well, surely that that would have been the case for the last yeah, game. Yeah, that was Keenan Policia you're point. referring to. Yeah, Sonny. But he may well have gone off and passed his HIA exam. The doctor could have been happy with it. I mean, there's, you've got to trust the medical people there. They're all very sensitive to this. But I, I sincerely doubt we'll, we won't see this boy back. Oh, that one just snuck up there on Sunia Turuva. Sunia Turuva is playing lower grades with the Panthers. He's in the Panthers Academy. He hasn't debuted in NRL yet, but I believe it will be, won't be much longer before he does. Very powerful runner of the ball. Probably better served as a centre, but plays a lot of fullback in the lower grades out there and makes a lot of metres every week. He's really hard to handle. So I had Charlie Staines playing fullback earlier tonight for Samoa. Yeah, they're not short of a fullback, the Panthers. <laughs> the dogs aren't too now, Gus. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're in a bit of a feeling out process at the moment, boys. Here's Joe Redabaka Therabalu. They have to play the ball. Tanki Tuamua to dummy half. And Sima trying to put a bit of footwork on, but he's wrapped up. 20 away. Tangi Tuamua goes here to Tui Kamakamita. Sylvester Namo gets on his back. And they wrap him up a couple of metres away from the line. The Sima, a little kick in the end goal area. And it's been dropped there by Robert Derby, but no harm done as far as a try is concerned. But we're going to have a look at this because was... Okay, Matty. Here we go. We have no try. <laughs> on field, we have a double knock on and no grounding. First from uh, Papua New Guinea, mate. Just confirmed they lost it into the de defender and then they've knocked on. And that escort. So just basically having a look here about what the, the restart will be. The Fiji kick chase is onside. And you think this would be a dropout? Oh, hang on. It popped out. Just looking to see if he maintains possession and if the ball is grounded. I think it's fair to say he's grounded that when he's tackled. He's got control of it. That's grounded. Yep. The ball is grounded in the in goal area by the Papua New Guinea player. We have a decision. So it will be a dropout. There'll be so many people in PNG and Fiji watching tonight. Crowded around small tallies, Gus. Yeah. But nonetheless, supporting their uh, countrymen. I'd say in Fort Moresby, they've got the big screens in all the parks and they'll all be sitting outdoors. Here's Tui Kamakamitha. Russell and Mead are in there along with Namo. Tangi Tuamua to dummy half. Tane Milne. Makabalik, one of the defenders. Set restart. Here's Wetabaka Thetabalu. Tangi Tuamua, another set restart. Back to back set restarts here for Fiji. Tane Milne, three of them there to put him on his back. Tangi Tuamua. Been lively out of dummy half. Nangama, Nasima. Now, Semi Valame. Turuva. Three metres away from the line. Dangi Tuamua. Milne. Looked out the back, went short to Kamakamita. It was well read by Russell and Watabo Pereira. Nangama, 
Little kick, he might want that one back. It's been picked up there by Kyle Labert for the Kummels. Pretty interesting to see Milne playing in the, the lock back row. I think they've got him in there. He plays uh, outside backs for his uh, club side, but they've got him in the middle there just as an extra ball player, I think. So we'll see if that uh, pays dividends as the night goes on. Penalty here to PNG down here, Sam Thide. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm no weatherman, but I can tell you right now, my ankles and my knees are starting to ache, so that means it's a bit cold. And I'm no uh, expert when it comes to dew, but there's a bit of dew on the ground at the moment, which might make it slippery. Might see a few of those kicks slip through and might play into this game going forward. So watch the slippery grass, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll have to uh, get some heat packs on my knees. You'll be right, Sammy. Well, that was great defence by PNG. And they worked it out and deserved their penalty. Very talented number of these lads, and they don't die wondering. They, they'll chance their hand if they can. Well, I can tell you, yes, this guy here, Sylvester Namo, he'll go all night. Well, big engine on him. Now Lamb to Johnson. And Alex Johnston tackled there by Tangi Tuimua. Lamb, here's Namo again, his second hit up of the set. Kamakamitha, one of the defenders, along with Radavaka Tedavalu. Lamb, Labert, Kyle Labert. He's wrapped up. Ritabo Pereira to dummy half, experienced campaigner at this level for the Kumuls. Kick there from Lamb and Turuva, he gets it. And then Justin Olam gets him. There's back-to-back -back tackles there from the Melbourne Storm centre. Kaylee Ravalawa. The Dragon. Oh. He slipped up a little. Sylvester Namo, the player. Penalised. There was nothing in that, it was oh my going soft. Sylvester Namo, one of the few PNG Hunters players in the Kummel side tonight. Here's Kalen Miller. Ten metres into PNG territory. Tangi Tuamua. Tane Mill, Asima, with the army kick out. Asima to dummy half. Wanga Blake gets it out the back. Tangi to Amour, he's got room to move. And he'll be wrapped up. They're only 12 away from the line here, Fiji. Asima to Kamakamita. Big Tui trying to get to the line. Score to try. Similar sort of circumstances against the Broncos recently. He's milled for the line, and he gets it down over the back of his head. And Fiji will score first through Tane Milne. A bit of contortionist work here. He really had to struggle to get the ball down. It's not easy to lift it out of the out of the ruck over the top of your head and still find the line and keep control of the ball. Harvey Norman replay, physicality. Just gets it out, gets the extender arm out and plants it over the line, right in front of the referee's nose. Yeah, great, Gus. Great to see this man uh, playing test footy. I played alongside him in, at the Roosters and he's come a long way since then. Uh, he might have lost it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, there you go. All that build up. Yeah, Any problems with this guy again, mate? Hey? Yeah. Same as last game. Well, he just loses it on the way down here and the only reason he holds on to it is because it's on the back of. Possession. One of the PNG players. So let's have a look. He's His lost it His hand comes there. away from the football in the field of play and goes against the Papua New Guinea player. Yeah. We have a decision. He did re-grip it to get it down. He did well, but the fact that it touched the PNG player Middle. will be a no try. Well, there we have it. No try. Okay. Yeah. We've got a handover. 
And it will be a turnover because it was the last tackle. I don't know if you boys noticed it, but early in that set, Kakao had his first carry and Laybuck got up right up in his face, made a great carry, got up, shaking his arm like he'd gone dead on him. So if that's the uh, if that's the outcome of that first tackle, it's going to be a long night for him. And he'll no doubt remember that one. He'll put it in the memory bank. For the army kick out. Here's Nixon put for the PNG Kummels. Come out of their own end. David Mead with a run. Not going to go to the World Cup. David Mead, this is his last test match. Kick here from Kyle Labert. Booming kick down to the 20. And Sunir Turuva. You mentioned Gus, he's good on his feet. He can glide. Very powerful runner of the ball and he's very quick. Reminds me a little of Michael Jennings. He moves kind of the same way. Real good short-term speed and evasiveness. The set restart here for Fiji. Kick out. He'll get up and play it. Another opportunity here for Fiji. Benioni, Tangi Tuamua to dummy half. Kamakamitha goes short to Joe Redabaka Thedabalu. And he'll be tackled 12 away from the line. Tangi Tuamua to dummy half. Kamakamitha, Nangama, Turuva, Blake. Good tackle down low, David Mead doing very well. Oh, it's a set restart. The leg pull. And is Sivo going to Blake? What about some of the contact? Kick out. Will he go on his own? Viliami kick out. He did well there, Kyle Labert over the top. And Russell down low. Tangi Tuamua. Nangama. Evan Nagam Nangama drifting. He's tackled. Tangi Tuamua, dummy to Redabaka Thedabalu, goes to Kamakamitha, he throws it out the back, kick out, he, he knocks back off kick out, and Tangi Tuamua will have it now for Fiji. Milner dummy half, sustained pressure, Turuva, looking for an opening, it's not there, Latavo Pereira there, one of the tacklers, along with Jacob Alec. And he only took to a more to dummy half. Kevin Nangama had to reach for that one. Puts in a kick. And oh, he ends up with it. Kevin Nangama. Dan Russell couldn't handle it. Nangama there to score the opening try of the night. A little bit of luck that try, but I put it down to their Polynesian flavour. I think they were just at a bit of a bit lost. Uh to show you know, probably Nguama, Nguama. Probably hasn't played in the halves too too often, but comes back off that right foot. Harvey Norman replay. Uh, I guess the luck of the bounce, you could say. Gus? Yeah, quite often in the in playing in their country, they play out of position, but he's got wonderful experience, NRL experience here and over in the English Super League. And one thing he's always had in his football is competitiveness. He's been able to score tries and he competes on every play. And this one here, it's not the most brilliant of kicks, it's not so greatly placed, but he keeps after it, he puts pressure on, gets the regather, and plunges in for the first try of the game. Always been a good player. It's great, isn't it, seeing him back in the NRL this year after well, a very successful stint in the English Super League. Man of the match in the Super League Grand Final last year, Kevin Nangama. Asima. Matua Masima to convert, and he makes no mistake.
First try of the game going to Fiji. Kevin Nangama. And just to correct myself a little bit earlier, it's not two Polynesian nations we're, we're watching play tonight. It's two Melanesian countries that we're playing, that we're watching play tonight. Have you been to PNG, Sonny? Never, Gus. Never, but I look forward to going there one day. I'd love to. Fascinating country. I've been there probably, I don't know, a dozen times, 15 times. Went there pretty regularly about a decade ago. Extremely passionate rugby league nation. And I think, uh, Peter, getting them into the Queensland Cup was a big boost as well. It's done wonders for rugby league in the country and the development of players. Well, we've just got to have a look at, at you know, the progress of a player like Just, Justin Olam. First came on the scene with the Hunters. And I can tell you that in the next week, it's a big week in PNG as far as junior football is concerned. They're going to have for the first time a mini and mod league. We'll get back to that in just a moment after this attacking kick. Alex Johnston underneath it. Great take. Great take. Great take. Alex Johnston. So there's a big step forward for rugby league in, in Papua New Guinea. And to all those kids watching us tonight, good luck and enjoy it. Next week. When that gets underway, Mini and Mod League in Papua New Guinea. Sideline, Michael Samus. Yeah, we saw in the first, game, the first game quite a few head knocks there. The trend continues in this game. Lamar Manuel Leela Vave, his night is over. He's failed that HIA Fiji. They'll be down to 16 for the rest of the game. That's not surprising. He had a, a big reaction to his head knock. But, but that's my point, Gus. Does there need to be a HIA for that? You wouldn't think so. Yeah. And back on what we were just speaking about, Gus. I haven't been to Papua New Guinea, but I've played them a few times in wow. There's well, nothing that... soft about them, is there? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all, brother. <laughs> they have won a competition in Queensland. The PNG Hunters. With Bell Capinius. He plays for Winner Manly. Tavo Pereira, Jacob Alec, Oh, Labour, David Mead puts it down. It was a hard one, and Wanga Blake has it now for Fiji. And you'll get a penalty. Yeah, PNG, it's a, a land of, I think, about 800 tribes and 800 different languages. But the one thing they all agree on is rugby league. It's... It is the national sport. It's a national passion. The only nation where rugby league is the national sport. I can walk down Melbourne for 10 days and no one recognises me. Doesn't matter where you're going, PNG, they know every rugby league personality. It's incredible. Beautiful people. The yeah, one thing you'll find when you go to the Polynesian Islands, as Gus is saying, um, the passion and love they have for sport, whether it be rugby league, rugby union, whatever. If their country's playing, they're sitting, sitting around the telly watching, supporting. Big opportunity here for Fiji once again. They're halfway through the sets. Tangi Tuamua, it's a pass away. And they're knocking on the door again here. That's a good, strong run. A first run, too, for Piaseki. Tangi Tuamua was put down there by Mill. And they'll come back for a scrum feed here for the Kummels. And even the PNG government, they saw rugby league as a way to unite the nation and to, to educate the youth. Um, making rugby league a subject in school. Rugby league wasn't played in schools for a, for a number of years and they reintroduced it to the school curriculum as a subject. And, that was a way of enticing kids to come to school regularly and get an education because that's where it all starts. So the government knows the value of this game to their people and to the future of their country. That's why rugby league is so important to them. It's, it's more than just a game. We're focusing now on Justin Olam again, but he's one that he's been studying as well through the early stages of his... NRL career. Oh, there's a good shot. Kick out on Mead. Piasethi in there as well. Jacob Alec. Good contact there from Tane Milne. 
They're doing really well, the PNG boys. I mean, you, you can see an obvious difference in the two teams from an NRL experience perspective. Um, but they play their own brand of football. And when they actually get a bit of possession and open up, they'll see that. And that could have got a bit dangerous there for Turuva. Well, the Kummels have won seven of their past test matches. Past ten test matches, I should say. They beat England, didn't they? Great Britain. Yeah. A couple of years ago. But just touching on that, Gus, I think that's what makes, you know, playing Papua New Guinea such a, uh, a tough prospect because they play their own style. You know, you can't really... Here we go, Sivo. Yeah, here he is. Sivo's Make through. a Sivo. Breaks free. Gets a pass away. Masima, can he get there? He tosses it out the back. Blake's got it. And is this play on here? Was it out the back? No, it went forward off Wanga Blake. Oh, great footy, but great scramble by the PNG fellas. Look at the jersey sprinting back there to try and save the day. And their, their fans are celebrating. Good work by Sebo. He's come infield. A little bit of a stutter step and pulls through a, a defender who was slipping over. Yeah, plenty of in support. Look at all these yellow jerseys. They're all back there. Wanga Blake will scoop this up and it's dangerous again, but they're in his face and they force the, the drop ball. I think that's just part of their, their style of footy, Gus. You know, they may not always get it right, but uh, the intent, the passion is always there. So, bit of running repairs I took a young Penrith reserve grade team to Papua New Guinea to play a pre-season trial a number of years ago and in that team was a very young James Fisher Harris a very young Nathan Cleary a very young Corey Hadawira and Ida Michael Chamis on the sideline yeah boys just want to bring your attention to Emmanuel Winer here on the sideline about to go on his, his parents actually went out and bought a new TV and a generator so the family could sit around and watch tonight's game. We know how much this means to the people of PNG. This one's extra special for him. His uncle actually played for the Kummels in the 90s, and one of the first phone calls he made was to his uncle when he got selected. So there were plenty of tears shed, uh, Emmanuel Wine and his family. A great story, Michael. Well, they do it every, every Friday night, Thursday night and Friday night football. The governor of Port Moresby puts big screens up in the and all the parks in Port Moresby, and they all gather around to, to watch the coverage every every week, and especially be in tune for this one. All big fans of the Melbourne Storm with Justin Olam's presence down there. And you see the Storm against Manly at Brookvale Oval at Four Pines Park on Thursday night, and the NRL resumes next week. Is Jacob Alec part of the, the Titans organization? Abel Capinius, Tavo Pereira, Lachlan Lamb. That is very, very high. Oh, good take. Great take, and then a terrific collision as well. Not for the faint of heart out there at the moment. That ball went miles in the air from Lachlan Lamb. Sunia Turuva. He's been outstanding. That was a terrific take there from Semi Gala, mate. And replaying the bottom of the screen. So we come a Kamitha with a strong start to the game. Gilbert Isaac, one of the defenders, down low. Alex Johnston gets away from kick out. Don't get away from the other Fijian chasers. Robert Derby. Here's David Meads. Now, the NRL's beanies for brain cancer round in support of the Mark Hughes Foundation returns next week for round 16. All proceeds from the sales of beanies will go towards supporting vital research for brain cancer. Head to markhughesfoundation.com to buy your beanie today. Beanies on 
next week. A very important round. Here's a kick. And he takes that very well. Tuduva now looks to set off. Beats one. Can't beat Pereira. He's got some sharpness about him, this guy, Gus. He certainly does. You know what I love about these fixtures is when you see guys like Kamakamitha come back and he brings that professionalism that he's learnt, obviously, at Melbourne and um, bring that professionalism to this to these teams that need it. You know, and he's definitely leading out there tonight. He's uh, run for over 100 metres already. So, um, good on him. Kevin Nangama. Tangi Tuamura dummy half. Here's Billy Army kick out. Oh, he did well there. Kyle Labor. Kevin Nangama. Whoops. Miss kick. Alex Johnston has it. Labor at the dummy half. These are some tough carries. Some big hits. It's a game that's certainly living up to expectations. Here goes Justin Olam. Olam away. Down the sideline. He's got support inside. Lachlan Lamb. Celebrate in Papua New Guinea. You're in for the first try of the night as the Kummels hit back through Lachlan Lamb. Uh, just when you underestimate them, the Kummel football comes out from their own end of the field, prepared to spread the ball. And just watch the little interplay out here on the edge. Harvey Norman replay. Olam goes around the outside, a no-look pass. And he shows his speed. Gets away from Nagama. Gets away. Backing up on the inside, young Lachlan Lamb. His dad played for PNG many, many years ago. The great Adrian Lamb. And the Kummels are on the board. We'll be all locked up here. The Melanesian flavour right there. How good is it when you see a set play? You know these boys have worked on this play during the week, come off, whether it be at the scrum or you know, a set piece at the scrum or just ad lib like that. It's great to see. So, yeah, Justin Olam is on fire tonight. Nixon put played his role well, didn't he? Did that pass to Olam? Oh, what about the celebration from Justin Olam? He loved it. <laughs> he loved it. Ah, oh, that's brilliant stuff. That's a wonderful hit back. Like I say, they'll, they'll, they'll get you from anywhere. There is a real flavour to their football and they, they won't die wondering. Just got to believe in themselves a little bit and take their chances. Kyle Labert converts. We're all locked up. Lachlan Lamb, who first played for the Kummels in the 2017 World Cup. Hey, his dad played for the Roosters, a great halfback. Played for Queensland in origin and played for PNG. He was part of Fatty's 1995 origin team. Was. There he is, Lachlan Lamb. Speaking of state of origin, exclusive live and free tomorrow night. Game two from Perth. Will New South Wales level the series or will Queensland take a series victory? From seven o'clock tomorrow, live, exclusive live and free on nine and nine now. Lamb. Puts in a kick on the last. Oh, great take, Sunia Turuva. They've got their tails up, Papua New Guinea. They've definitely got the momentum. Gus, state of origin, who wins? And why? <laughs> Blues by one, I don't care by how many. <laughs> win by one, let's get to a decider. 
but it's uh, it's going to be difficult. All those changes. It's a it's a gamble, but it's an educated gamble from the coach. And a short preparation, but you rely on the talent of these elite players to to pull it together and get the job done. At the end of the day, for New South Wales, losing is just not it's just not an option. It's virtually whatever it takes. Ooh, could have got nasty there for Robert Derby. Lost his footing just before Wunga Blake was coming through. David Mead. Yeah, guys, sorry to go back to state of origin, but I'm all, I'm a big believer in, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're playing good, you should be selected. And I think, you know, would you say that's what Queensland done well? But just like in the early game, New Zealand, um, putting away Tonga, but I thought they just picked players that are playing well at this moment at this very time, you know, so um, would you say that's a, a big thing? Um, big advantage for Queensland? Yeah, experience is massive. In, in big games, you know that. I was always taught big games, big players, and experience is a, a very valuable commodity. Good take there from Makasivo. So origin too. Tomorrow night, exclusive live and free on nine and nine now. Saruva playing the ball. He's been magnificent, the Fijian fullback throughout the opening 29 minutes. I only looked at the clock. First time I looked at the clock in a while. Where did that 29 minutes go? It's, well, it's entertaining. Fast. You don't have to look at the clock. You don't want it to end. No. Turn the clock off. This is good stuff. Ravalawa playing it. Yeah, they're just going to have to get a little bit busier here. The Fiji team. Oh, and Yama puts a kick in. That will bounce in the touch. Thought it was going to go out in the full, but... Back in your day, Sonny, you never got the chance to play for New South Wales in origin. You played... Junior, I think you played New South Wales 17s and 19s, but at the origin level, you didn't get a chance to play. Yeah, um, and for, my, for myself, I always thought the state of origin is the pinnacle of rugby league, but you know, my uh, strong ties to New Zealand helped me, helped me there. Uh, but, um, you know, we're in a time and a space now where a lot of the best players uh, aren't Australian, but playing in the NRL and uh, have been in, in the same similar position as myself, come over here at 13, 14, so they have connections, ties, so maybe that's something that we uh, we will be looking at in the future, Gus, because we do want to see the best players playing in the pinnacle of pinnacle uh, game of rugby league. But I probably would have played for things like this. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> Here's a kick from Lamb. This time, Turuva gets a pass away to Ravalawa. Let's take his sideline, Michael Shamus. Yeah, Gus was talking a little bit earlier about Sunia Taruva, the, the Fijian winger who's at the Penrith Panthers. He's had a rough couple of years, Sunia Taruva. He's, uh, his house burnt down, then his mother passed away during COVID, but it's a special week for the family. Api Korosau is actually his first cousin. I'm sure he's watching in camp there for the Blues uh, in Perth, but a special weekend for the family. Here goes Viliami Kikau down the touch line. Great tackle from Robert Derby. Wanga Blake. Here he is, Turuva. Finally gets a pass away. Oh, and it's a set restart here. Tane Milne playing it. Come Kamitha. They're on the front foot here. Only 15 metres away from the line, Fiji. Tangi Tuamua goes to Milne. Back out to Tangi Tuamua. Come Kamitha. He gets an offload away. And Penioni Tangituamua will play the ball. Viliami kick out. Kevin Nangama. Piacetti. Five metres away from the line. Dilbert Isaac, one of the defenders. Penioni Tangituamua. Oh, good solid tackle on Kamakamitha, but he got the ball out the back, and Wanga Blake has it. 
David Mead was calling for a knock-on from Kamakamitha. Didn't get the call, it's the last. Asima, little kick over the top, it's well placed and not well weighted because it goes dead. And now, Solo Wane looking to get things underway pretty quickly here for the Kumuls. Well, is it just on that set? Cal didn't touch the ball. Now, for myself, I don't know about you guys, but I consider him one of the games elite. Now, for me, um, in a game like this, he needs the ball in hand. And I guess if I could have one thing that I'm critical about Kakao in the game of footy is that his involvement. Sometimes he, it's not like he goes missing, but he just, there's periods of time where you want him to touch the ball because you know what he can do. He can produce that magic. So um, hopefully, you know, in the next 10 minutes or whatever we have less, he can get his start getting involved a bit more. Liam Horn on the field now for PNG. Russell. Dan Russell. 22 away. It's the last. Made to dummy half. Puts it high. What a bad kick. Where it bounces. And Nangama. Right place, right time. And he was there for. Fiji. They let the ball bounce, Gus. Yeah, well, you know my thoughts on that. Oh, solid tackle. Liam Horn. Good stuff. This is entertainment for you on the Saturday night test match rugby league. Kamakamitha to Milne. Flicks it out the back. Two bounces. Kick out. They wrap the ball up. Russell and Labert in there. Tangi to Amour goes to Wanga Blake. And Wanga Blake tackled on the last for Fiji Bati. Asima puts it high. A very high kick. It's well weighted too. And a bubble from Alex Johnston, but no harm done. There's really nothing in this, is there? Kick out with the big efforts there. Good tackle. Good tackle. Well, just in that, even in that last hit, he just took one hit up. He sucked in three defenders. It just shows how, you know, how uh, powerful, how strong he is, but also how much he can influence the game just off, you know, touching the ball. Solo Wane playing the ball just outside his own 20. Lamb. Here he is, Justin Olam. Beats one, goes to Lamb. They're keeping it alive. Alec the Horn oh. kick out says, come here. Yeah, boys. Yeah, boys. That looked like a shark attack. <laughs> Lamb puts it high. It was like the Discovery Channel. You wanted to look away. <laughs> oh, nice work. Finds Wunga Blake. Sonia Toruva. He's loving life in this PGN team at the back. He's a good kid. Kasibo. Great seeing him back from injury a couple of weeks ago for the Eels. He's again to the with the hit up. Yeah, that's his that's his forte. Rodavaka Theravalu playing these days for the Northern Pride. Kamakamita, the Fijian chant goes up around the crowd. Big Tui Kamakamitha with a strong run. Born with the tackle. Now Wanga Blake, it's the last. With the army kick out. And he fired out the back. No, they wrap the ball up. It'll be a turnover. Going in the sheds, uh, Gus. Will you be uh, saying to the boys, to the lads? I think they're going good, mate. I don't think they need to change much about it at all. They're just, they're both being very patient. PNG have only had the only one real attacking array from their own end of the field, and they haven't seen much at Fiji's end of the field because Fiji have controlled the ball so well. And both teams have put a real value on the win here. It's not just about representing a country. They want to win for their country. They're playing a good brand of footy. Six points all, two and a half minutes remaining. Nixon put playing it. 
On to Alec. Back towards the play, the ball. Nixon put. Oh, what a fans! <laughs> oh, this is great stuff. Put will play it. Horn, Lamb, here they come. Wane puts in a kick. Yami kick out. Leaves it behind. Russell gets it. Six more and bang. Crunch. Kick out on Dan Russell. There'll be an imprint of Viliami Kikau on Russell. Well, here's their chance. They haven't had any attacking football right close to the line. They're four metres away inside the last two minutes of the half. Cole Labert to Dan Russell. Oh, he's almost there. Tui Kama can be through a try saver. Horn on the bounce. Here we go. Mackenzie A for the line. He'll get there. Mackenzie A with the try for the Cormals and they hit the front. Well, this was just all want. He just wanted this so badly he wasn't going to be stopped. And the big fella off the bench has grabbed himself a try for his country. Let's the old fashioned don't argue. Just put the mutt right in his face and that was the end of that argument. Harvey Norman replay. I think the ball hits the ground here. It doesn't find the mark. Sort of dribbles along there. The big fella picks her up and he says, get out of my way. Bang. Oh. Over he goes alongside the post. And PNG hit the front. This will be a big thrill. I can just imagine what's happening there in PNG right now. Incredible. Oh. Look at it. Yeah, get out of my way. Look at this. Get out of my way. You get out of my way. Straight over the top of it. PNG could well go to the break. Well, they will go to the break with the lead. Now, Mackenzie, yeah, he, along with Nixon Put, play for the Central Queensland Capras, originally from the Western Highlands. Yeah, he plays for the Capras in the Host Plus Cup in Queensland. And now Kyle Labert to make it a converted try lead for the Kummels. Okay, Kyle Labert. He converts the try, so 12 points to six. The Kummels are in front. And here's another look at the McKenzie Yeh try. Such determination. Oh, look at that. You love seeing the celebration. It's a test match. It means so much to all of these players, to proud nations doing battle. And what a half of football it has been. We'll have time for the kickoff and one play. The fans are loving it. Justin Olam hasn't he had some input in the half here's a short kickoff taken here by david mead and held and the siren will sound and that's half time and what a half it has been papua new guinea leading fiji Bati, 12 points to six amazing football Test match football. And can Fiji come back? Well, we know they've got plenty of match winners in their team. And it's the last 40 minutes as a Kummel for David Mead. We wish him all the best. Not going on to play in the World Cup. And he is in jersey number three. He's asked plenty of questions, Kyle Labert, defensively. And he's answered a lot of them. He's very good in the end in the first half. There's Billy Army kick out. Full of focus. Alex Johnston. Rock solid at the back. The South Sydney Rabbitoh. And we are ready for the second half. Papua New Guinea leading by six. Here's Mackenzie Yeh. 
scored the try just before half time to put the Hunters in front and he doesn't play well, with the Kummels in front. He doesn't play for the Hunters anymore. Mackenzie Yeh plays for the Central Queensland Capras. But what about a story we just heard, Sonny, about when he first arrived to do some testing when he was at the, the PNG Hunters? So he first arrived, he'd never done any testing. Um, the myth says he never had never been in the gym. So he rocks up and he jumps on the deadlift machine and he pumps out 220 the first time he's ever done weights. So. Believe it or not, that's the uh, the myth, the legend, the man that is Mackenzie Ye. I believe him. Me too. Look at those pins on him. Not gonna argue with him. <laughs> Here's Nixon put. Rock solid player, Nixon put. Played for the Hunters, the Norse Devils. Now the Capras. Here he is, Mackenzie Ye. Must have been 240 kilos, surely. <laughs> the calves. Even the shorts want to stay on him. Dilbert Isaac. Halfway through the set. Rolling downfield here. The Kummels. Lamb to Johnston. Beautiful ball. Solo one. Can't get there. What a, downside. What a save. Great tackle. What a save. Brilliant football by PNG. And watch the scramble defense here. There's Nagama. He's in field. He's actually engaged in that tackle. And he'll come around in cover defense. And I think he makes the initial contact. Which Gus, it was your Taruba. man again. Taruba, who it's came across. Again, Gus. He's played his way into a debut, surely. Well, he'll debut in the NRL shortly. He did really well. Sunia Turuva. He might have done his hamstring here. Johnston taking lessons off uh, off Walker at Gravados. That long ball. It's beautiful, wasn't it? This doesn't look good. No. It's only a hamstring. We'll, we'll brush that off. Get back into it. He says he's all right. The old magic water. He's good to go. Here we go. Alex Johnston again, this time on the right side of the field. Liam Horn, Carl Labert, kicks back towards the corner. It bounces, and now Fiji Bati have it through Wunga Blake. Haley Ravalawa, make a Sebo. The two big wingers looking to make an impact. That was Sivo. Here he is. Sunia Turuva. He's okay. Apparently so. <laughs> Lucky there's no HIA for hamstrings. <laughs> He'd have been off, but he shrugged her off. I think he just wanted a few replays of that try so he can tackle. He's playing well, Gus. Kalen Miller. For Fiji. Nangama puts it high. And Alex Johnston takes it well. Looks to try to set off, but Ritavaka Thetavalu makes the tackle. And now Justin Olam. No, I'd love to see I'd love to see Olam running straight at Kakao. What are you boys with him? Who comes out of top of that one? Gus. Irresistible force makes the immovable object. That's it. My money's on Kakao. Oh, there's a mistake. A rare error. The Fiji coach, Joe Dakotonga. I coached Joe many, many years ago. He came out in 1992 or 93. The 93, I think. Uh, Captain's Challenge. Uh, I come with a friend of his called Lee Malangi Malangi. They were two very talented players. You know that old Gus. Come on, bro. 100%. Look good for your age, brother. No, oh, no, I'm travelling okay. Just looking to see if there's any stripping action by Fiji. We've got a challenge here. 94. How old was I in 94? I think I was four. A little bit older, but so the captain's challenge here 
Well, have a look at the arm of Red The CG Marcus player's Tedabalu. wrapping up the ball. There is no stripping motion. The challenge is unsuccessful. Here we go. Oh. Challenge unsuccessful. You think about it too, Gus, those that came from Fiji and other nations in around the, the 80s, uh, you know, whether they came to Sydney, came to Brisbane uh, and, and played, quite brave. Oh, absolutely, back in that era. I can remember back in the 60s or 70s. Where was Inasai and Apasai Tonga? Where were they from? 60s, 60s, late 60s, early 70s. And they were, uh, you know, we just didn't have them in our game at that time. They were sort of trailblazers, pioneers, if anything. Lots of that of the Sanga, Gulawai in Brisbane as well. Let's take your sideline, Michael Samus. Well, special story tonight, big Joseph Ratuvaka Theravalu, the, the Fijian prop forward with the ball at the moment. He was a, one of the most promising Parramatta juniors, went to the Roosters, suffered a broken leg. He got seriously infected and he, he had what was called compartment syndrome. Uh, they said that he never played rugby league again, almost lost his leg at the time. Now worked his way back up to Q Cup and he's playing for his country. So you can see there the scars on his leg, uh, a pretty horrific injury. It's, it's great to see him back playing rugby league. Certainly is these days with the Northern Pride, Michael, Joe Redemaka Tedavalu. You can relate a bit, Sonny, to. Yeah, comp compartment syndrome. I broke my leg once. Um, Try to come back a bit too early, and the bone, I guess the bone grew back a bit too big, and the muscle, because uh, I had those Samoan legs, the muscle didn't have any room to move, so that's what compartment syndrome is. So, yes, I'm an ex footy player and an ex doctor, though, so there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Justin Olam. Lamb to dummy half. Nixon put. Being strong tonight, Nixon put. Horn. Here he is. Mackenzie Yeh. Horn to dummy half. Jacob Alex, solid contact there. On Alec from Tane Mill. Now Horn out of dummy half. Puts on a step. Nalan Miller makes the tackle. Tangi Tuimua was there as well. Labert puts it high. Oh, what a take! Is there anything that Sunia Turuva can't do? The chaser offside. But take nothing away from the fullback. A great take. He does everything at 100 mile an hour. Real confidence. Gets up above them, attacks the ball, and lands on his feet and keeps going. Got incredible balance for a runner. I think a few clubs are wondering when he's off contract, Gus. Well, he just extended his contract wisely. Now, we have got a Twitter poll for you at NRL on nine. Who's going to win this match? Who do you fancy from here? PNG Kummels leading Fiji Bati. 12 points to six. Head to Twitter at NRL on nine. He's Mill. I reckon we should have another poll. The best haircut from this weekend's games. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> seen some good ones. A couple of metres away from the line here, Bati. Wasima. Nangama, nice ball, quick hands, and it's with Ravalawa for the line. McKaylee will be stopped. Ravalawa will get up and play it. It's the last. Nangama. Wasima kicks. The goal area. Oh, it's been taken there by Mead. David Mead coming out to the 20. They're all offside. Here goes David Mead. Knocked back by, or knocked on by a Fijian player. Mead recovers, and it's still zero tackle. If that ball goes to hand, I'd, I'd say they'd be close to a four point. It was a big, big play. Emergency from Mead is Russell. Playing the ball, Horn. There's another set restart here for the Kummels. They're really growing into this PNG. Jacob Alec. Look at this good footwork, bending them back again. 
plenty of tackles up their sleeve here. Labert, Lamb, Johnston, Wane. He's tackled. Solo Wane. And if you're concerned there for Makali Ravalawa. Is Mackenzie Yay! Oh, it's a full moon in Campbelltown. He's going to be stopped. Now it's with Lamb to Labour. And a penalty here. They're all offside, says referee Todd Smith. Well, two points have put the mate in front. Wunga Blake took to the odds to it there. I don't know whether he was offside or not. He might have got a head start, but he got there very quickly. PNG having a committee meeting now about what to do. I'll be surprised if they don't kick the goal. No, they're going to go for it. It's Papua New Guinea, Gus. Yeah. Dilbert Isaac, a couple of metres away from the line, leading by six. Horn. Yay. Hey. Why wouldn't Bo you give it to him? Offload this time. Lamb good hands. Goes to Labert. Kyle Labert gets away from kick out. He'll slide through, reach out and score. Kyle Labert with the Kummel's third try of the night. Have no try. Ooh. He doesn't look com uh, co confident, the young fellow. What are we talking? Double movement here. He got up shaking his head. So. The ball carrying arm of the Papua New Guinea player touches yeah. the ground. He then promotes it forward over the goal line. We have a decision. If he hadn't have reached, momentum might have got him there. But the fact that he reaches after the ball hit the ground is a dead giveaway. So it remains 12-6 and Fiji Bati with a penalty. Wanga Blake. Let's take your sideline, Sam Friday. Just a quick uh, crowd number for you. We've had 10,720 people come through the gates here today to watch these two amazing matches. The field like crowd, it feels like there's been 50,000 here, to be honest. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> Is that like the temperature, Sammy? You OK? You handling things OK? I'm not handling things at all. But like I said, I can't complain. There was people dancing with dra gra grass skirts on out on the field before. And uh, I've got three layers on, so I don't know what I'm complaining about. There's Caelan Miller. You'll be right, Sammy. There's seat in the house with Michael Samus. That was the last, and it'll be a turnover. Lamb goes to Olam. Half an hour remaining. It's a good game. I want it to end, Gus. That's no, a good game. Very closely fought. David Mead, why is, why is he retiring? It's not a great game tonight. Surely he can carry on to the World Cup. Great servant. Hopefully he'll change his mind. Sonny. It's in put. He's had a great game. Kummel's number 12. Lamb. Now it's oh, nice offload there from Alec. Lamb to eventually finds Russell who got it from Labert. Isaac Lumi Lumi about to come onto the fields. High kick from Lachlan Lamb. And another great take from Sunia Turuva. Full of confidence at the moment, the Papua New Guinea side, all on their toes, ready to attack, ready to hunt. And Fiji, conversely, on their heels, just looking out of sorts at the moment. Oh, oh, oh! That yeah. be a penalty. Well, they were dominating field position there, and this penalty would help Fiji out of their end of the field. Shoves. You see the, see the brothers have a hug. <laughs> Great to see. It just got away from him, didn't it? 
I'll go and report here. I, I thought they made it safe before they put him down. They, he got out of control and they got it back into control and just laid him down. But uh, welcome penalty for Fiji. Now here's Mikhaili Ravalawa. Kevin Mangama. Zachary Malumi. Tackled by Horn. Now Piacetti. Three Kummels in there making the tackle. He stands in the tackle. He'll play it. Tangi two more to Milne. The Seema kick out. He's just got to succumb to the tackle there because Tui Kamakamitha was in front of him. Then he only Tangi two or more to Milne. We lost that. No. Stripped. Stripped there from Liam Horn. I'll tap it here through Sunia Turuva. Big set of six here. Piosetti. Oh. Good strength showing there by Seti. Tangi Tuamua. Now Mill and Kamakamita. Good tackle down low. Dan Russell making it. Oh, he's cramped up here to Kamakamita. He's run for 170 metres tonight. There's Tui Kamakamita. 30 tackles too. No wonder why he's cramping up. Big fella's having a blinder. You know what I'd like to see, boys? I'd like to see that uh, that playoff mill. When he goes to the line, he has a, another forward front rower outside him. He just holds up that Papua New Guinea in defense and then go out the back and then quick ball to Kakao and let him do his thing. Because if they can get him one, at least one-on-one -on -one with momentum against a player, um, standing still is going to be damaging. So, good for that. Coach's tip. What do you reckon, Gus? I like it. You going to coach, Sonny? I'm trying to coach my own kids. There's four of them, so. <laughs> good luck with that. Maybe. <laughs> there he is. Mill, Asima, Turuva. Sizing up the situation. And he's going to be tackled here by... Well, Lachlan Lamb is still going forward. Now, Nassima Dummies. Taken there by the Kummels defence. Kamakamitha is down in back play. He's gone again. He, he can't get out of the way of the action here. Milne puts in a kick. Oh, who's there? Who's there? I'll tell you who it is. Sonia Turuva. With a try for Fiji Bati. And there's no doubt that Sunia called for this. He gets running even before his teammate gets the ball. And he calls for the little grubber kick into the end goal. We'll check the grounding. But he's had an outstanding game tonight, the young fella. Tane Milne. Near Turuva, what a game he is having for Fiji Bati. Re signed with the Panthers till the end of the 2024 season. Etane Milne, he's, he's usually a outside back uh, club footy, but you know, he's stepped up tonight. And I think he might have found a new position. It's been great tonight. He showed the, uh, the repertoire that he has up his sleeve. Nice little brother. This to level things up. Moves in. Oh, waved away. No goal.
two-point ball game. First try of the second half has gone to Fiji. Let's take your sideline, Michael Samus. Yeah, Tui Kamakamita's finally succumbed to those cramps. He's come from the field and just on Sunia to River, guys, he's, he's signed, a, a, he's just extended with the Penrith Panthers for a couple of years. The Dolphins and the Tigers went hard at Taruva trying to sign him. He opted to stay and the Panthers have, have given Charlie Staines permission to look around. That's, that's how highly they think of Sunia to River. Here's Mill. Out the back, here's Taruva. Beats one. Gets away from Justin Olam. That's no mean feat. Now it's with Rabalawa. Lumi Lumi. The dummy half. Goes out on his own. An angled run. Now tries to straighten. Momentum now with the Bati. Sethi. Goes here to Nasaki. And it will be a changeover. 23 minutes remaining, a two-point margin. Great entertainment for you on this Saturday night. And it just keeps getting better and better across the weekends. Don't forget tomorrow night, a do or die for the Blues at Optus Stadium, Perth, in the Ampole State of Origin Game 2. Cav coverage starts from 7 o'clock in the Eastern States and 5 o'clock Perth local time. Don't miss Australia's greatest sporting rivalry right here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Exclusive, live and free on Nine and Nine now, State of Origin 2. He's a strong charge. Emmanuel Wane. First touch. Lamb puts in a kick. Oh, he's there again. Turuva. Boys, just on the story of Turuva, uh, like, like many of our Polynesian brothers, uh, it's just a great feel-good story. And we should be really proud of you know, what we do in, the, in our game and how it affects uh, a lot of these boys' lives because it's not just for themselves, it's their village. Uh, as we heard David Mead speaking about earlier, you know, that he grew up playing with a Coke can as a footy ball. So um, we should be really proud of uh, how this game affects you know, players' lives, especially from the Polynesian Islands. Something too, just on following on from what David Mead said, as we said earlier, there's organised junior footy for the first time starting next week in PNG with the mini and mod football. Yeah, great to see, like I said, the, the passion. Um, it's the, it's the um, top sport in uh, Papua yeah. New Guinea, Gus, as Gus was saying. So, you know, it's great to see them uh, laying those foundations and pathways for these kids to see more of these kids being the next David Mead in, 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 in our own. Emmanuel Wane. Playing the ball. Here's Lamb. Mackenzie A. <laughs> Bumping away from defenders. He did well, Kevin Nangama. Yeah. A little kick put through. Lumi Lumi did well. Well, charging onto that one, Pumuls. Well, a quarter of the game remaining. There's Valame playing it. There's the Pumuls leading by two. Tangi to a more to dummy half. Mil Nasima. Quick hands, kick out. That's brilliant to Wanga Blake, but. Russell and Labert there to make the tackle. Tangi to a more to Milne. And Tane Milne. What a night he's had. Inside the last 20 minutes we go. Nasima. Good kick into the corner. Alex Johnston. Gets it up towards the 20. Thought about a pass. Here's Sylvester Namo coming back onto the field. Oh, solid hit there on Solo Wane. Justin Olam. Ten short of the halfway line here. Robert Derby. 
Another one of the Northern Pride players involved in tonight's game from the Host Plus Cup in Queensland. Last play here. Alec will play it. De Horn. Plenty of room there for Lamb. Thinks it over the top. No room to go there for Sunir Turuba. They're making it hard for Fiji, aren't they? Controlling the ball well and kicking to the corners. Fiji struggling to play any football from their own end of the field. They're kind of waiting for a penalty or something to gift them a little bit of field position. So it's just a slight disruption at the moment with Papua New Guinea leading by 12 points to 10. And there's Mackenzie A having a rest. He probably said yay when they told him he was coming off for a rest. Sivo yeah, playing it. It's up over the 30. And that's a good, quick play the ball too from Makasivo. Sivo and Lavalawa coming in to do some work. Sima puts that one into the corner again, but Alex Johnston takes that well. A little arrow roll. Has he lost his footing? And gets it up to the 30. So 64% on Twitter, on our Twitter poll, say that the Kummels are going to go on to win the game. Anything can happen. Alex Johnson just feeling for the back of his neck at the moment. Well, do you, do you agree with the poll? That's what you're feeling. I think there's more people in PNG with Twitter than there are in Fiji. That's what I think. <laughs> now can you pick a winner here, Sonny? Anything can happen. Yeah, but I think Papua New Guinea, have, there's a reason why Papua New Guinea in this position. It's off the guys of, you know, Alec Horn, Putt. Um, you know, 40 tackles, 43 tackles, 119 metres, 157 metres. Here we go. Ricocheting everywhere. And hang on. It's come out the back. What's the ruling here? Well, there was a knock-on in the six again, and then he grabbed a kick straight away. I'm not sure why he did that. They had a, a set restarted. That's knocked on by... <laughs> Lumi Lumi, and then Johnson put his foot to the ball. Captain's challenge, Captain's challenge, Captain's challenge here. Fiji. They're challenging the decision of knock-on from the kick contest, mate. Well, they're saying that Isaac did not get to the ball. Might be a challenge from a winger, Gus. Ooh, who got the first touch? Nixon put. Might have come off his left ball hand. Ball is first knocked there. on by Papua New Guinea and then goes into the Fijian player. Oh, so the challenge by Fiji is first. successful. You'll play the ball here. So well, that's, that's a let off for Fiji. They'll get the ball. Good challenge here. Yeah, you could just see in that last replay the left arm of Nixon put. Yeah, I just feel like Papua New Guinea are wearing them down, guys. Uh, off the back of you know, some of their boys just grinding away, grinding away. But, you know, Fiji is Fiji. I mean, they've got some, some X Factor strike weapons all over the field. So, uh, makes for an interesting last 20 minutes. Wanga Blake was calling for a penalty, not forthcoming. That's a good run from Penioni Tangi Tuamua. He's a bulldog. Plays with the Bulldogs. He came out during the off-season. Been playing most of his footy with the Mounties club, but going really well. He's made a good fist of this tonight. He's played real strong. Lulu Masaki playing it. High kick here from Masima. Oh, good take, but look who's there. Oh. Billy Army kick out, says to Robert Derby. Come here. You just seen that for a while away, didn't you? Just to close your eyes. 
When the kick went up, he realised he could get there on time and he really turned his legs over quickly. And it's things about his game that have really improved over the last couple of years is his attention to detail with his off the ball things. And I just love it. The, the intent that he does things with us you know, like I said before he can he can change a game with without the ball and that's a sign of a great player so he's definitely one of our games um, elite in that sense Kakao good kick there from Lamb there's a Melbourne Storm chase there Justin Ollum dragged his teammate downfield and come up with a good grab Was that Lumi Lumi? Spent some time in the Melbourne Storm. Came through the Cronulla pathway system. And he too was a Bulldog. Found with the Bulldogs reserve grade side. Had a couple of injuries this year and a bit of a setback, but um, he's a handy player. Kali Ravalawa. Your man, Tororuva. Uh, Gus, 250 metres so far. Well, that's pretty uh, average for him. He'll get well over 300. <laughs> Already seen a fullback at over 300 metres today, earlier this afternoon. Joseph Manu from New Zealand. Yeah, I think he'll be playing fullback with just about every other club. They've got the great James Tedesco at the Roosters, so. Robert Derby up over the 20. And he's tackled. Alex Johnson. Beating players going sideways. Looks to straighten. Just going to be wrapped up. Just a little bit of fatigue starting to come into the, the PNG side at the moment. If Fiji can somehow just raise their effort level and force a turnover or two. Might make the difference. Good surge. Well, they needed it there. It's a manual 1-8. The PNG boys know the game so well. I mean, they... Oh, hang on, Gus. Here goes Lamb. Lamb, he's got mean inside. And in his farewell test match for the Cobbles, David Mead with the try. Doesn't he love it? Great support play. But look at the work from Lachlan Lamb. A little stutter step and a show and a go. And that's what you want from your halves when the opposition is starting to tire. What's this? Harvey Norman replay. Little stutter, stutter, stutter. Bang, straight through the line. And Mead backs up on the inside to race away and score the try. Could be a very telling try. Well, if you look up here, Gus, before he caught that ball, he was looking at his opposition player. He knew where he was going. Catching the ball on the outside like all great playmakers do and then cutting back, uh, creating that space. And how good is it to see this? I should say, young man, um, you know, doing his thing and scoring and supposedly his last test. But after that, I don't know, boys, we're going to be seeing him a, a swung song in the uh, World Cup. Maybe. Well, look at the celebrations on the sideline. There'll be nothing like what's going on in Port Moresby. Oh, 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 you're not wrong. Hey? <laughs> Still a ways to go. But they're going to hold a very, very handy eight-point lead. Fifteenth and final test appearance for the Kummels, for David Mead. And not just in Port Moresby, all around Papua New Guinea. Good evening, everyone, in places like Kokopo, who will be no doubt watching intently tonight. And now Kyle Labert from right in front converts the try. David Meads. 
with the try. Now Papua New Guinea, an eight-point lead. Sideline, Michael Chamis. If, if this is David Mead's last test, it's a special one. He played at the 2008 World Cup for the Kummels and a testament to his longevity. He's the only contracted NRL player remaining who actually featured in that World Cup. So David Mead hopefully finishes on a high. You're saying David Mead's 34. By the looks of things, he looks like he's 24. Look at the water he's drinking. Remember they had that really good performance in that 2008 World Cup, the Kummels against England up in Townsville. Here's Watavo Pereira. Long stint in the sideline. That's because Liam Horn was doing well. In number nine is Alex Johnston. Pereira. Now Labert. Puts it high. Test here for Tuduva. Takes it well. There's still time here for Fiji Bati. Eight point is the margin. Wanga Blake playing it. They play rugby league in the villages all day, every day in Papua New Guinea. I went, I went to one village where they could only play when the tide went out. When the tide came in, <laughs> the field was covered in ocean. They have to sit around and wait for the tide to go out again before they could play. Right, we enter the last 10 minutes. Another good run here from Sunia Tudova. He's strong. Everything's a meter eater. Last play. Mangama, now this will be a penalty. He was taken around the legs. Yes. It is a penalty for Fiji Bati. Yeah, they didn't need that, PNG. Nine and a half minutes to go. There's still time for Fiji, but they'll need a try shortly. Nagama in the air and just tackled around the legs. Can't do that. See the face on Lachlan Lamb on that replay. He knew. Yeah. So, big set of six this one. Saba Ferrara, the man penalised. Lamb is in the background. PNG's defence has been very good. There's Ravalawa. Tackled down low by Justin Olam. Nepal Kapinius over the top. Tangi Tu and Moa. Here's Piasetti. Down low is Sylvester Namo. Stopped his progress. Now, the Sima. Goes on his own, the halfback. Inside the final nine minutes. Penioni Tangi Tuamua. Going to Tade Milne. Milne. He's going to have to stop here, isn't he? Yeah, miscommunication there. So here we go. Two tackles left in the set. Oh, he's got to go and play it. Walk back a metre. Play the ball. So two tackles left in the set. Masima to kick out. Viliami kick out with Tavo Pereira. Great tackle down low. Last play. Tangi Tuamua goes here to Piasetti. He'll get over the line. Can he get the ball down? I think he has. Well, he hasn't. I think the referee's confident. No, try. no he's give it the cross he arms. When he goes to the ground there at the end, I'd already called the completion of the tackle. So we're looking at that initial part, mate. Well, he says he's got to get it down straight away because he called hell before the back end of it. And he's well above ground there. Great defence. Desperation. Just looking at angles to see if we can see the ball. It looks like it's always in the air. He's well above sea level there. After looking at all available camera angles, the on-field decision of held up will be supported. We have decisions. I think that was last play too, it so it'll be a handover. And again, the PNG boys have defended their goal line. Well, a few tackles earlier, they went to Cacao, but I feel like they're going to a more wrong. Um, straight from the nine, straight out back, and then just straight tip onto Cacao. When you're defending that, you can mark up on those front ball runners, but no one's holding you. So you just get that that run of play, you get that uh, 
um, that momentum going into tackling and being able to tackle a guy like a cow. So you know, they need to fix that. Um, and like I said before, a play, a simple play with two forwards going at the line, holding them up, uh, playing out the back, then going to Kakao would probably work a lot better. Now, don't miss 100% footy this Monday night as our expert panel break down all the drama. Hang on, we'll get back to that because here's a break. Then a good tackle there on Emmanuel Wane from Turuva. The Kumuls. Charging downfield. Four tackle kick from Lamb, but guess who gets across there on time? Turuva. Yeah, Lamb's controlled the game well, though, tonight. He hasn't made any mistakes with his judgment when to kick, where to kick to. Distribution of the ball. He's done a really good job in the seven jersey. Oh, solid hit there on Viliami. Kick out. Nixon put was there along with Epel Capinius. Here goes Wanga Blake. David Mead, one on one. Now the Seema. Let's hear the Seabol. Make a Seabol. Tackled. 20 metres short of the halfway line by Sylvester Namo. Last tackle. And Seema kicking down to the corner. Alex Johnston has it. Well, that wasn't very adventurous. They virtually just handed possession back to the PNG. Who are now inside of the winning post. Robert Derby playing it. And his solo one A. He's been good since he came on. And every one of the Kummel's outside backs has run for well over 100 metres tonight. They've been. Outstanding, getting them down this end of the field. Alex Johnston. Good tackle, Kevin Nangama. Now Pereira to Olam. Justin Olam, what about that for a party trick? He can do anything, Justin Olam. He'll be leading the country soon. He'll get the keys to Port Moresby. And a great try from Lachlan Lamb. But have a look at this effort from Justin Olam. Oh, I'd say somewhere in the memory bank he saw Cameron Smith do this for Billy Slater. That's what it looked like. Watch this. Down the short side, kick back towards the post. Perfectly done. Lamb comes up with the grab, and that will wrap it up for the PNG Kummels. What excellent play. Olam showing his versatility. Harvey Norman replay. Back in field. Lamb with the grab. One hand. Steps the fullback. And lands the winning prize. You've been holding him back, Craig Bellamy. Down to you, Sammy. If you, uh, you, th you think that try means a lot to this Papua New Guinean, guys, we're sitting right next to the Papua New Guinean bench, and they all jumped up and applauded that try. I actually thought that uh, Justin Olin went down the short side when he probably shouldn't have, but I didn't know he was going to put that kick in for Lachlan Lamb. What a great bit of skill. What a great game we've seen tonight. What a great performance from the Papua New Guinean Kumuls. He, he's seen Cameron Smith do that for sure. Cameron Smith or Munster? Well, it could be either. Do you reckon they practice that during the week, Gus? Well, I know he's seen it before. And if that's his first go at it, well, he's nailed it. PNG, have a look at this. Don't you think they love their rugby league? Great game, really enjoyable. Oh, Labert. And he sneaks that one through. Short kick off here, and it goes 10, and the Army kick out has the ball for Fiji. Don't forget State of Origin 2 tomorrow night, exclusive live and free on 9 and 9 now. 
from Optus Stadium in Perth. Coverage from 7 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow night. Game two. Here's the seaman now for Fiji. Tangi to him more. Kalen Miller. Three and a half minutes remaining. Exceptional game of football. Nisania Turuva. Nowhere for him to go. It's been a marvellous three days, but the big one's to come. One more sleep tonight. And as the Cornwalls are off again. One more sleep tonight, and then we're off to Perth for the big one. State of Origin 2, the Blues need to win. Exclusive, live and free on Channel 9 and 9 now. Get your entertainment any way you like. Be a lot of nervous players over there this evening. They've watched all this football over the last two or three days and waiting for their chance. And it comes tomorrow night. We can't wait for it. Boys, based off the last three games uh, tonight, would you say any of these um, sides are you know, could challenge or be there or thereabouts come World Cup? Or it's too early to tell. I think the World Cup will see big improvements from a lot of the nations, and I think the winner of the World Cup might be well hidden. I watched that New Zealand Tonga game today, and the strength of those two teams. And I don't think it's just a player to conclude that Australia will go over there and dominate. I'm not sure about the Great Britain side and their strength, but certainly these Pacific Island nations are looking good, and it's what Australia can muster up as well. Be a wonderful tournament. I'm glad they didn't hold it last year. I'm glad they've waited till this year. I think everyone's in a far better shape for that. It should be a great spectacle. You going over, Sonny? Yes, most definitely. Well, I hope so. Can I come with you guys? Chuck me in your suitcase, case. I'll be home working, mate. Right? <laughs> Things to do. We'll have a coach by then, Gus. You'll be right. Never know your luck in a big city, Peter. <laughs> Just over a minute remaining. Last play here for Fiji. Little kick over the top by Nengama. And Kyle Labert takes it. Here's David Mead. Throws it out the back. Labert picks it up. And he's away. Come and Kamitha tries to make the tackle. Robert Darby's got it. He's put a kick downfield. And Viliami kick out. Gets back to take that one. And gets a pass away. This is entertainment in the closing stages. Ravalawa. Yeah, Tangi Tuamua. Good solid tackle on Sammy Vellame. 30 seconds left on the halfway line. Nangama trying to finish the game off on a positive note for Fiji Bati. Miller. Tugura goes here to kick out, puts a kick down field. He might win the race here. Kick out, puts another kick in. And did he get there, Sunia Tunuva? I don't think so. Okay, Manny. The siren has sounded, but we are going to have no a quick check on, on this one. We need to check interference on Viliami kick out as well, mate. So we're going to check the interference here. The kick chase from Fiji is onside. Yeah, here we go with kick out. The contact on Viliani kick out is shoulder to shoulder. We're playing on at this point. There we go. Now, let's have a look. Turuva, did he get there? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Do you go yes? He might player. have got Takes this. The ball and he's grounded in the in-goal area. We have a decision. Sunia Turuva. Well, he deserves that one. It's his second try of the night. He's been magnificent for the Fiji Bati. 
Sunia Turuva. As we mentioned earlier, he has re-signed with the Penrith Panthers until the end of the 2024 season. So they're going to have a conversion here. It, players are shaking hands. They are going to take a conversion. So there's... All the handshakes have started. And we are going to have the conversion in just a moment, even though every player is in front of... He's telling everyone to, to go away, as well as Tane Mill. He's lining it up to convert the Sunia Turuva try. Taking his time. There's David Mead. His career as a Kummel coming to an end. The last test match he's playing for his beloved PNG tonight. And the players separate for Tane Milne and the attempted conversion. Right boot. And after all that, he misses. So full time and a highly entertaining test match at Campbelltown. Papua New Guinea 24 have defeated Fiji 14.